In this video, I will explain the wiring diagram for the 2014 Jayco Baja pop-up camper solar project. Hopefully this will cover any questions you might have, but if not, feel free to contact me at tim at timsap.com or through the comment section below. So let's get started. So in this wiring diagram, if we look over here towards the left hand side, you'll see BT1, and that's our 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. So this is kind of the heart of our system. Looking down below this dark line here is our negative terminal, and it eventually connects to ground, but it goes through a 350 amp shunt as part of the battery monitor system. This uh, shunt determines any current flow going through the system to determine uh, whether the battery is charging or discharging. You'll also notice from the positive terminal, there's a fuse, uh, F2, which is a one amp fuse that also connects to that shunt. This uh, provides power for the battery monitor and also allows the battery monitor to uh, check the voltage at the BT1 battery. Going on on the positive, we'll see that the battery is protected using a 250 amp circuit breaker labeled as CB1. This uh, cabling then goes on to our 2000 amp inverter, as you can see in the diagram right here. There is also a connection that comes off of that that is tied to that B plus line on the inverter. And this goes through a 40 amp circuit breaker. So this protects all the circuitry coming from the battery, which includes the uh, 12 volt system in the camper. And it also serves as a protection between the solar panel charger unit, which is right here, the solar controller. And if you see here, it says solar cells. This, so this is our banks of solar cells even though it doesn't actually show we have two in parallel, but we do. So these connect onto these two terminals of the, the Wanderer solar charge controller. So the negative terminal of the charge controller also ties into ground. And the battery plus comes back to that 40 amp circuit breaker connecting it to the battery. Also, we have a charger which goes back to shore power, and we'll explain that here in a little bit as well. And the negative coming off of the battery charger also ties in to the ground circuitry. So this one relay down here, and let me scroll down just a little bit, labeled as K3, this is a relay to switch on the 12 volts from the battery, basically what it does, it will interrupt the 12 volts coming from the battery if shore power is applied to it. So whenever we connect to shore power, it's going to disconnect the battery from our 12 volt system. And if you notice in here in the labeling, there's a 12 volt uh, converter. So that's the 12 volt system that's already in the Baja, the uh, converter. So whenever you plug in 120 volts, it's creating our approximately 13 volts DC. So we don't want to use that to charge our battery because we have our dedicated charge controller for the uh, lithium iron phosphate battery. So we just simply disconnect the battery from the 12 volt system and let it run off the converter whenever we have short power. Okay, so now going back looking at the 120 volt circuitry, Coming off of our inverter, if our inverter is turned on, we'll generate 120 volts, so we'll have a line and a neutral. The line will go through relay K1, which is the normally closed terminal, will then feed, oops, I didn't mean to jump that far. So our uh, 120 volt will jump to our uh, 15 amp circuits that are connected to the inverter protected circuitry. And we do the same thing for the neutral. So the neutral then also goes through the normally closed contact to the neutral side. 
of our branch circuit. So on our inverter, we have to keep the neutral isolated from the shore power neutral. So that's why we add this extra relay in here. Okay, now on the shore power side, our shore power, we show it going to our load center. So in the load center, our converter's tied into it through a breaker. And there's also a 15 amp breaker that comes off where that feeds to the normally open contact of K1. And you'll also notice uh, coming from the shore power, we have a one amp fuse. This one amp fuse is in a, uh, on a DIN holder. And then that, that feeds to, to turn on K1. So whenever we connect shore power cord, it's going to energize K1. So now we're going to disconnect from the inverter and we're going to connect to the 120 volts coming from the 15 amp breaker. And let me scroll down a little bit and we're going to do the same thing with the neutral circuitry. So it will also be, K2 will also be energized coming through this 120 volts from the F1 circuitry. And when we energize K2, then our neutral will also swap over to the shore power line that's attached to the neutral line. And then, of course, our neutral also ties over to K3. So, to sum it up, whenever we attach the shore power cord, K1, K2, and K3 both will become energized. And they're going to swap from our 12 volt and our inverter 120 volts to the respe respected uh, circuitry in the, in the camper. So, although at first glance, this looks a little uh, complicated. Let me zoom out a little. Um, it, it's operation of it's actually pretty simple. You just have to kind of follow. If you're hooking this up a, a project for yourself, just make sure you're following uh, this wiring diagram. All right. Uh, like I say, if you have any questions, just uh, reach out to me, and I'll be glad to answer them. You can contact me at tim at timsap.com, or leave a comment in the section below. Thanks for watching.